Hi and welcome to Data Coder. In this video, we are going to discuss about treatment emergent flag. We will understand what is a treatment emergent adverse event and how to derive it in either HTTM or ADAM dataset. So, treatment emergent flag is very important when we are creating a HTTM A dataset or ADAM ADA dataset. Later, it's a, it plays a very vital role while creating table listing and figure. So let's understand what is a treatment emergent flag. So the definition says an adverse event A is counted as treatment emergent in any case when it starts or gets worse during a treatment period. So there are two definitions. Let's see them in details. So the first definition says any new adverse event that started on or after the treatment started and on or before the treatment ended plus cut off date. And the second definition says any existing adverse event that worsened in terms of severity on after the treatment started or on or before the treatment ended plus cut off date. So this cut off date will be different according to your study and it will be mentioned in, in the SAP according to the study requirement. So the first definition says if any adverse event started after the treatment started that means any adverse event happening after the treatment has been given to the subject then it's a you know treatment emergent adverse event or any existing adverse event is there but after getting the treatment the severity has been increased that means that also we can say as a treatment emergent adverse event so let's see an example and understand this concept so for studies uh, when the subject is 001 whose treatment start date is 11th august 2022 and treatment ended is 12th of August 2022 and the cut-off day is given 11 days okay so uh, for this here is the coding given for the first definition that means if a treatment adverse event started after the treatment started and uh, you know before the treatment ended plus cut-off date then we can say treat, treatment emergent flag equal to y so let's see this with some data so here in the above if you see treatment start date is given 11th of august 2022 and the end date is given 12th august 2022 and here we have the eight terms like headache nausea constipation vomiting and anemia so for the first adverse event headache if we see the start date is 1st august 2022 but the treatment is given on 11th August so this adverse event is happening before that that's the reason it's not a treatment emergent adverse event so the flag is black for the second adverse event nausea if you see it started on, uh, on 11th of August 2022 which is the treatment started that's the reason it's why and for the third one constipation it's 13th of August 2022 but it's uh, you know start date is 11th august and date is 12th august but if we add this cut up days 11 days then it's 23rd august that's the reason it's also uh, considered as a treatment emergent flag for the next one vomiting it started on 30th august 2022 which is not in this period started uh, you know and ended plus cut up date that's the reason it's not a treatment emergent flag next is anemia and for anemia if you see it started on 1st of august 2022 where the severity was mild okay and it's it's not a treatment emergent flag because it's 11th august is the treatment date and it started very before that but if you see again on the 12th august the severity has been increased from mild to moderate okay and this 12th august it's in between treatment started and treatment ended okay that's the reason the treatment emergent flag is given why so this is some of the data and it's explained um, you know the first uh, this nausea and this constipation it's uh, you know the flag has been generated based on the first definition 
and for the anemia the flag has been generated based on the second definition of treatment emergent flag thank you for watching this video to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos on base advanced and clinical sales programming keep learning